What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Sloop Brewing Company, and they are out of Hopewell Junction, New York, and this is their juice bomb. So they're calling this one a Northeastern IPA. It comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is approximately three and a half weeks old. So Sloop, I've only reviewed two beers from them on the channel. The first was their No Pumpkin IPA, which I reviewed back in 2018, and that was their fall seasonal uh, where there's no pumpkin in it, there's no spices, kind of poking fun at the uh, pumpkin beers, and it was a delicious hazy. And then the other beer I reviewed from them was actually a whodunit slash mystery beer that was sent to me by a very good friend of mine and now a fellow beer tuber, Dan, over at FLX Beer Reviews, and uh, it was an oat cream IPA, and I pretty much nailed it. It was delicious, one of the best beers I had from Sloop. So I've only knowingly reviewed one Sloop beer on the channel, and then the one sent to me by Dan as a whodunit slash mystery beer, and I don't know why, because I like Sloop stuff. Uh, this is their flagship, basically, beer at this point. They get distro to, I believe it's 19 different states, not quite 20 yet, and uh, in here in the Buffalo, New York area, Pretty much you can find this beer in grocery stores, even gas stations. And uh, I would assume that's very similar for a lot of places. The distro and good price point. We'll talk about it at the end and whatnot. But yeah, I've had this beer before. So full disclosure, but it's been a good at least five years, maybe even longer than that. I've also had a couple others within the uh, series. Their Citra Bomb, their uh, Down Under Bomb, and their Double Dry Hopped uh, Down Under Bomb, which is my favorite beer from them. To date. Anyway, let's give it a pour here into the uh, Captain Lawrence glass, which I haven't been using that much anymore because I haven't been buying Captain Lawrence stuff. We really don't see a lot of distro from them uh, as much anymore. But yeah, that they, so they say Northeastern IPA with this one, right? This is a New England style for the most part. It's a juicy, hazy boy. Look at that. So has that dark uh, orange honey color. Um, not super dark, but you know, it's it has that, it's definitely like a deeper orange, very murky turbid, can't see through it. Just over a finger of a really super creamy, uh, off-white colored head looks, that looks like a beautiful uh, hazy, just to be honest with you, it really does. Let's get a nose. Wow. So the one thing about this beer is it's tough to find fresh for me. Like if I see it in the mix of six uh, location at my local Wegmans grocery store, a lot of times it's, you know, three, four, five months old. Um, and I don't see it a lot of the beer stores as much anymore. Typically they're sold in six packs, I think 12 packs as well. Uh, so I found the single of this and, and it was when I picked it up, I think it was just like over, just over two weeks old. So the fact that I'm drinking this less than a month old is pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, man, there's tons of orange. There's navel orange, there's blood orange, sweeter orange, a little bit of like a zesty ruby red grapefruit. Um, big, huge citrus vibes of this one maybe some tangerine. And then after that, a soft peach, maybe mango, but more to the peach side, maybe a touch of pineapple. And then it has a slight resinous, like kind of hop quality, it almost has, like when you get like a piney resin, you know you're gonna taste it and in the nose, you kind of smell that like dank piney uh, kind of feeling to it. In the nose here, I'm getting more of like this earthy, slightly dank, almost herbaceous kind of nose, but it's not huge. Cause the name of the beer is Juice Bomb and it definitely is juice forward. Yeah, it smells awesome. It really does. So let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. For a somewhat no frills, almost grocery store IPA, I, I'm doing this as part of um, the shelfy beer reviews I do for the month of August 2022. And I picked this up because it basically is a shelfy beer at this point. It's really fucking solid. Hmm. You know what? It's better than solid, and I haven't had this fresh in a long time. First off, the body, this is like higher side of medium at 6.5%, has a little bit of half nose. You know you're drinking, you know, not like a, a pale ale or something really light, but I would say this has a body that's kind of like those 7.5%, maybe even 8% um, double IPs I get from some breweries, honestly. And then the mouthfeel is super soft, incredibly creamy. Like the mouthfeel on this is fucking fantastic, right? Now the flavors... A little bit dialed back from the nose, not as intense, but nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of citrus, not as sweet as it was in the nose, more zesty, maybe slightly pithy, a little bit bitter uh, from the citrus character. So it has a little bit of orange juice right up front. Then it has like a pithy uh, grapefruit, like kind of rind. Yeah, like a zesty almost uh, grapefruit. Just, just picture the rind of a grapefruit more so than like the actual uh, innards of it. And... Um, it just has that kind of grapefruit feeling. So orange, grapefruit, right after that, a little bit of a sweet, uh, ripened peach, touch of a pineapple. And then on the back of the palate, 
this finish is semi to full on dry with a mild to moderate bitterness and it has that earthy, slightly dank herbaceous thing on the back of the palate. Not huge, but it's there. So Juice Bomb, I think, is appropriately named because it is juicy orange at the front of the palate, but this is more than that, than, than, you know, the name. It has a pretty good balance to it. Again, the mouthfeel is fucking bonkers. Uh, the body's really nice. And as you can see, I'm taking this out. This is a, a quaff, dare I say quaffable, very sessionable 6.5% New England style IPA. That's what this is. 6.5%, you can't even tell the alcohol. There's no astringency on the palate, nothing in the chest. Just a really fucking rock solid New England IPA. They say Northeastern, whatever. At the end of the day, this is a very affordable value. It's through the roof with this when we talk about price and availability. But let's rate it first. So I'm going to give uh, Juice Bomb from Sloop. I'm going to give that a low 425. I'm going to go 4.2. I think that's a fucking fair score for this beer. Especially drinking it, you know, quite fresh under a month old. This is uh, this is really good. Uh, price and availability. This is where, for me, at least in my area, it's great. I believe, I believe six packs of this are under 12 bucks. They might be even 11. So 11, 12, you're talking about less than two bucks a can. I think I paid like just over two bucks for that can because buying it as a single. But if a six pack is 12 bucks or less for this, like, yes, this is a great sessionable uh, hop forward, juicy New England style IPA. To me, this is very comparable to here in the West York area, a Big Dishes Hayburner. Hayburner is a little bit bigger in ABV. And I like that beer a little bit more, maybe say in the same uh, realm, but I think it's slightly cheaper than it. But like, it's it's very comparable in terms of overall value. So yeah, value is great for that. And uh, like availability, like I said, at the beginning of the video, I believe they're in 19 different states, mostly through like the East, down the East Coast, maybe a little bit in the Midwest. I don't think that they... I don't know if they get that far out west, but uh, it's just Sloop makes some good beer. I need to buy more. So if I find any more within this style, or this series, as I say style, if I find any more, I think they do Simcoe Bomb, uh, Mosaic Bomb, Citra Bomb. They do a lot of different within the uh, series. I'm definitely uh, going to grab a couple and review them because it's just a fucking good beer. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. Uh, I think it's really damn good, and I'm going to drink the rest of this probably in about 5-10 minutes and uh, be feeling good. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Till the next one, cheers.